Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss about case study on Basmati patent. So introduction, all of you know the Basmati rice is known for its distinct aroma, long grains and flavoral taste, hold significant cultural and economic importance, especially in South Asia, not only just India, but almost all South Asia. So background during 1990s, what happened? Again, several patents were filed by the multinational corporations, primarily in US, claiming ownership, ownership over the various aspects of Basmati rice, including specific rice grains, strains, and genetic sequences and as well as the methods of cultivation so these are the three things especially more widely uh, which is uh, i know uh, fired in many countries but mainly in us so these patents are to monopolize the commercialization and distribution of basmati rice and its derivatives so they wanted to have fully control on the production distribution and as well as the usage of this basmati rice so threatening the livelihoods of the farmers and the cultural heritage of the particular region. Now the controversy and opposition, definitely the granting of Basmati patents triggered the widespread outrage opposi and opposition, particularly in the India and the Pakistan, where Basmati rice has been uh, now cultivated for centuries. Because we know that as in Pakistan, now it's a separate country, but earlier it was in India. So in India had already used this basmati rice from many centuries right so now since they divided both india and pakistan they both fought for this particular reason okay so india and pakistan authorities along with the civil society organization and as well as agricultural groups launched various campaigns okay then they challenged the patents and then the, finally the you know what you call uh, protect the interest of the farmers and consumers so definitely because if the patent is granted, what happens? The farmers are not free to grow the basmati rice. Can you imagine like that? So it will be very difficult, right? So again, the they argued that the basmati rice was a product of traditional breeding practices and as well as agricultural expertise. So making it a common heritage that should not be subject to the patents. So what was the resolution? So again, the efforts challenge, uh, you know, efforts to the challenge of Basmati patents, uh, you know, um, culminated in significant victories in the early two, 2000. So the Indian government successfully inv uh, invalidated the several Basmati patents granted by the US, uh, US and uh, you know, USPTO. So citing prior art and as well as traditional knowledge dating back to the centuries. So again, same thing in every uh, patent controversy Indian government also supported all the activists and as well as the people who have concern on the farmers okay and as well as uh, the traditional knowledge okay so these law legal victories provided important precedents for the production of traditional knowledge and as well as agriculture biodiversity so lesson learned again we know that uh, you know uh, there should be a stronger legal framework to prevent uh, misappropriation of traditional knowledge and as well as genetic resources. So furthermore, the case underscores the role of public awareness and advocacy in challenging unjust patents and promoting social justice. Right? Every people, uh, every, you know, people should be know what is patent and why, what happens if they get a patent. If somebody gets a patent which you are already using it for many centuries, then you'll have to take a permission. You have to see the permission from those countries or the corporation, multinational companies to use it, to cultivate it, to produce it, to manufacture it and to distribute it, right? So it encourages, so that's why the public awareness is very important. So it encourages the dialogue between stakeholders, including farmers, scientists, policymakers, and civil society. So to address issues of intellectual property rights and agriculture sustainability collaboratively. So these are all people should come together, not only just the farmers, not only just the stakeholders, all stakeholders, farmers, scientists, policymakers, civil society, everyone has to come together to solve these kind of issues. So next topic we are having IP organizations in India that we will discuss in the next class.